Breaking news and we have another embassy under attack. This is according to Reuters. Protesters have jumped over the wall into the U.S. Embassy in Sudan. And as we told you moments ago, Reuters also says protesters have set fire to trees, they've broken windows inside the U.S. Embassy compound in Tunis. This is definitely spreading right now and we're watching everything very, very closely. All right, um, do you, uh, you uh, anything to add on the Mideast situation, impact on the markets, or what Kevin Brady had to say? Well, I mean, just take a snapshot of what you just said. Look at the state that our country's in. We're being attacked overseas right now, and our dollar is being attacked by the Obama administration by printing money. We've got to make a change in this. And Wall Street's gone straight up. Well, I mean, the, the Dow is now 13.6, up 88 points. there's no other place to put the money. And by the way, we keep talking about rates being low. I just want to throw this out. Long-term rates, the government doesn't control, okay? okay. But take a snapshot. I, I, do, change I just want to point out also that before this news from Tunis and Sudan came out, and this is just in the last few minutes, mm -hmm. we were up 110, 115 points. Now we're up 88. So the, there could be a bit of a pullback in stocks because of what we know is now happening and spreading in the Middle East.